got to stop buying things for a little bit, just for a little while. I know exactly who I am, where, where. Hello Heavy Metal Maidens and Masters, I'm Heavy Metal Mama and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we have a Choc Goth X competition. I'm not affiliated with the competition, I just wanted to tell you all about it because it's pretty damn cool. But before we get to that, remember to like this video, comment down below to discuss any of the things that come up in the video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and thank you to all of you that already do. Hit that notification bell so you can find out whenever I upload, and welcome. So, Choc Goth X. If you haven't heard of this bag brand, where have you been? So I first met uh, the members of Choc Goth X team at London Edge a few years ago. They're a lovely, lovely team. It's um, a really tight-knit little community and they have two different sides to the label. So there's Choc and then there's Goth X. So Choc, according to their website, is a niche UK label with a dedicated aim of designing and making the next generation of bags for the crowd who wish to break away from the norm. Our mission is to provide an alternative range to the mainstream choice of bags with our own distinctive designs coupled with quality and affordability. So I am here at the Choc booth and well I'm going to be showing you lots of different bags. First of all we are in the what I call the more alternative side of things. So here we have lots of different backpacks. If you're in the market for a backpack these are really really cool. So we've got like the unicorn, you know, the unicorn mermaid type thing. We've got planets. We have what I would call skate inspired backpacks and then we have these crazy holographic ones here. These backpacks are really, really good quality. So they're canvas on the outside, but they're a canvas PU hybrid. Because look, they're plasticized on the inside. So even if you get caught in the rain, your stuff inside will not get wet. I was, that is really clever. I love these wallet chains on the front. Inside, they've got a laptop pocket. They've got a divider inside. They've got a front pocket. They've got a balloon inside. But yeah, there's a laptop piece here that holds up to a 15 inch laptop in there. They're really, really nice quality bags. In fact, Heavy Metal Hobby has been pining after this particular one. <laughs> really, really cool. So this is what I would call the sort of alternative skate retro stuff. This is Goth X. Look at these bags. Look at them. So Chock started first in Manchester and then they realised that there was a market for goth inspired backpacks so they've got ones with spiders and things like that on and then they realised that actually there was also a market for goth inspired handbags. So we have the original, their coffin bags were the first bags they brought out inspired by the coffin bags that I had one in the 90s. I don't know what happened to that brand but I had one. Look at them, look how cool they are. We've got fantastic look, flap here and a zip as well as a popper so there's no way you're going to lose your stuff. This a cross body strap as well. Then they apparently people said that they were a little big for a gig. So they brought out a little one as well, which is amazing. Then they realized that there was a market for big backpacks, medium sized backpacks, little backpacks. <laughs> and these are a new line as well. I really, really like, well, I'll show you my favorite one. This is my favorite one. It's got a giant skull on the top. How cool is that? Look at that bag. They feel beautiful. They're all faux leather, but oh, does it feel good. And this one's really clever in the look. It's got loads of different straps on it. I love these bags. I love these bags. It's such a lovely brand. So many different details on it. But we've got little, little handbags here, little sort of evening bags. I love this angel wing here on the skull. That's really cool. Then we've also got these sort of 50s style bags here with the, the little clasp at the top. We've got more classic style cross body, like Chanel inspired almost with this quilting bags. I mean, look at the quality of these bags with this lovely cross. This is their signature cross with the stud in the middle. We've got these really cool skulls. I mean, these lovely corners as well that have all been finished and for those of you that aren't into skulls and crosses and stuff, we have a giant Ouija backpack. And look at this. There's a planchette embroidered on top of this. This is gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous. If this is a little too big for your taste, we have a medium-sized one and a dinky one as well. And my daughter would love this. 
a teeny tiny bat too. <laughs> so they've got the traditional style like book of spells type bag. I think Mama Goth has one of those and she actually made a video a little while ago. I will link it up here in the eye for you. Then they have some beautiful little clutch bags. They've got um, a coffin backpack. I remember having a coffin backpack when I was about 17. I loved that bag, but it just, it fell to pieces. And I remember throwing it away and I don't know why I threw it away. I should have kept it and tried to repair it. But yes, that's, it really brings back memories of that particular coffin shaped bag. They've got lots of studded small backpacks. So they're about sort of this size. I took quite a few pictures with those at London Edge. I was really quite taken with them. Then they also have um, the more traditional style, like a Victorian bag with the proper vintage clasp on it. They have got then little mini backpacks as well that you can um, change the straps, etc. So it can either be a crossbody sitting on your hip type bag, or it can be a real mini backpack. They have oversized clutches. They have big quilted faux leather backpacks. They have some that look like cats and stuff like that. They've got such a different amount of choice on their website. And of course they've got little tiny, you know, proper evening clutches with a little wrist strap as well. There's so much to choose from. They're really, really affordable and really cool. So recently on Instagram, they put out a competition where you can design a bag. So the winning bag will go into production and be named after you. You will win the bag and you will win a £50 voucher to spend at chockgothx.com, which is their website. Go check out their website. It's awesome. So how can you enter this competition? So they have put a template on their Instagram. I will direct link their Instagram page down in the description box, or you can just go onto their Instagram, which is chockgothx. Again, I will put it up there and down in the description so that you can find that template. So I screenshot the template, uh, cut out all the rest of it, and then I put it into Canva, which is a free editing software that you can use on just through online. I use it to make all of my thumbnails, it's a brilliant little program and you can use that or you can, you know, good old fashioned print it out and draw it and you can design your bag. So if you draw on the template, then you post it onto their Instagram page. You have to tag at chockgothx and use the hashtags gothx and gothx bag. Again, I will make sure I detail everything down in the description so that you know exactly what to do. And to win the competition, you must be following Chock Goth X. But quite frankly, if you're not following Chock Look at Goth X, why are you not following them? Go give them a follow. They're a fantastic page. They've got some beautiful, beautiful bags. Now, I actually, for once, don't own any Chock Goth X. I keep meaning to buy one. I meant to buy one for festival. I wanted to buy the little backpack that you can wear as an on the hip bag, or you can turn it into a backpack. Look at that though. Isn't that cute? Oh, it's got the little pocket in. And I love the zip as well. Yeah, it's got the little pocket inside. That is cute. Oh, I love that. It's lovely. It feels lovely as well. And I meant to buy it for download last year. It was going to be my little nice arena bag. And then download didn't happen. And so I was going to buy it for this year's download. And download didn't happen. So I actually haven't bought one yet and I was really tempted to buy one for this video, but we're trying to save up to, to move house and I've got to stop buying things <laughs> for a little bit, just for a little while. You never know, I might win the competition and get my, my book bag. So it's a book style bag that you are designing. Here are my my current designs that I've put up. You can enter as many times as you like. And at the moment, there is no end date on the competition. They will release that a bit later. They want to give people as much time as possible to do as many ideas as possible. So you can enter as much as you like. You will see mine on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, why not? Go follow me on Instagram. I would love to have you. Yeah, so if you want to enter that competition to win a book bag designed by you, go check out Chock Goth X, go to their Instagram page and take part in the competition. So many people have already entered. I know that um, Jane Wilkes, Purple Jane has already entered. Mama Goth has entered. I have entered. I know a few people have said that they are going to enter. So please, please, please do go do that. Go check out Chock Goth X. They're such a wonderful brand and I am so pleased to, to you know, get to 
be a part of of some of their stuff i really hope my my bags do win i i, I probably won't but you never know you never know so <laughs> So that is it, it was just a little quick one to let you know about this competition, get the word out there. I would love to see what you guys design and you never know, one of you guys might win as well. So remember to like this video, comment down below if you wanna discuss any of the things that have come up in the video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already hit that notification bell so you can find out whenever I upload. And remember people, stay heavy.